Hi, I'm Andrea Hammes-Dodge with the Ames Chamber of Commerce. We have another video today for you on our COVID-19 resources and joining me is our resident expert on all things workforce, Ms. Brenda Dreyer. Hi, Brenda. Well, good afternoon, Andrea. Good to see you. Thanks for, you too. So um, we are gonna go over today um, some resources we have specifically for our employees who might be looking for resources, possibly looking for a job. Um, we have lots of great things on our website as well as a job, a job search page. So we're gonna take you through all of those today. So first we're just gonna start out um, on aimschamber.com, our homepage, we have a link to um, our COVID-19 resources. So if you just click that, it'll take you to our page that has lots of different information uh, tabs on it. But the one we're gonna focus on today is for our workforce. So, so uh, what we've Brenda? done, on this page is really tried to aggregate information that we've gotten into our office that we feel would be pertinent to folks that are either working or not working or uh, have family members they're trying to connect to employment. Uh, it's really designed with the employee in mind. And so we start with really an important link um, if you're still working either in an essential uh, company or uh, out, out into our community, um, this is a place where you can actually go on and it's a statewide map and you can go to the area you're looking for and it highlights uh, vacancies in places where there's childcare available. And so uh, shortly after the crisis started, we knew that there were a lot of folks their younger children were out of school, they had immediate child care needs, and so we worked with a lot of partners, and this is a good place to find the most current information as it relates to child care openings. Uh, the next section uh, deals with, um, uh, we lead with unemployment. Uh, we know that there have been uh, people in our community and across Story County that have been adversely affected uh, by the things related to the virus. And so um, the if you highlight and you hit unemployment, you go right to the workforce development page where you can file a claim for unemployment. And we're hearing um, from a lot of different people that uh, you really were suggesting you don't pick up a phone call and try to call Iowa Workforce Development. They're receiving record number of unemployment claims. Um, if you have a question or whether or not you should file for unemployment, we're telling folks to file for unemployment. Um, it, it's just the easiest way to kind of get somebody into that system and then let them make the determination versus trying to make a phone call. Uh, even sending an email, you can expect a two or three day delay. They're working 20 hour days. Uh, they're working as hard as they can to process those claims. Uh, but still there is a bit of delay. Uh, one of the things that's causing the delay is while um, your employers aren't necessarily paying the cost of those unemployment benefits under our current situation, they still need to do the due diligence in actually contacting your employer in terms of confirming that you have indeed uh, been furloughed or let go as a result of, of COVID-19. And so, um, and if you don't have enough time with one employer, then they need to go back to past employers in order to ensure that you have that service that they're looking for, which is six months in an 18 month period in terms of work in order to actually qualify for benefits. So please be patient, uh, don't delay. If you've been adversely affected, please go in and start the process by making that claim. And uh, that's just a, a real important uh, thing to keep in mind. There's a great handbook on that link uh, that describes unemployment in more detail. Uh, we are hearing that some of the additional federal payments are starting to show up. Uh, again, uh, that has a little bit of a delay uh, behind the state benefits, but it all starts by not delaying uh, the, the unemployment claim. So. Uh, hopefully, if, if even we can be helpful a little bit, shoot us a question. Uh, we'll try to be as helpful as we can. We're not workforce development, uh, but they're good partners and we're pretty familiar with their programs. The next item here uh, is something that's real important that we want to highlight. 
So uh, as much as we have folks that have been impacted because their jobs aren't available right now, we have a lot of different opportunities available for folks that want to work. And um, we've got service jobs, we've got manufacturing opportunities, we have healthcare opportunities. So what we've done on, the, um, on this particular flyer that you can access on our, our COVID-19 resources is this is an up-to-date list of the types of jobs and what company has them. So um, these are positions that we've been assured that there isn't a delay in hiring. They're actively recruiting for these positions. So you'll see uh, uh, agriculture-related opportunities there. We know our service sectors and the stores that are open um, are very busy. And of course, you can see quite a number of opportunities in the healthcare field. And so uh, we have great employers across Story County. They need people uh, working and servicing uh, everyone uh, in terms of uh, meeting the needs to keep their operations going. So please uh, share this flyer. If you hear of somebody looking for a job right now, uh, this is a good place to look for those opportunities. And, uh, and like I said, we're keeping that updated and you can always find the most updated copy on this tab. So uh, the other thing we've done is as we've gotten information, as it relates to folks um, that are more of an individual related sort of um, in, uh, data that might be helpful. So for example, uh, folks that may need healthcare coverage, uh, here's a link uh, to actually talk about how you can get a, uh, uh, enrolled in the Affordable Care Act. Um, there is a very early on, uh, as things started to happen, there were some protections put in place on evictions and foreclosures. And, and finally, I wanted to talk a little bit about this last item. This is really the last piece that the state uh, actually got some framework around. It was released earlier this week, but this actually is the provision because we do know while there are jobs, there are less jobs than there were available. This will actually allow um, the additional unemployment benefits for folks that were previously on unemployment. So uh, it's really the last piece of, of the legislation to actually come in with some rules. Uh, and again, if you follow that link there, it'll tell you what you need to be doing with workforce to development to ensure that your unemployment benefits are continued. So that's a little bit on what we have for employees on our, our uh, resources page. And so uh, please share that information. It's there uh, for folks to access it in a really short and concise way. Um, we, in addition to our immediate job opportunities, one of the tools that we have available, not only for our businesses and industry across Story County, but for individuals looking for work is workinames.com. Uh, this is our Story County job board. Uh, it um, is a great place to either look for a job specifically for a company or look for a certain type of job. Uh, you can even go down to the fact if you're looking for a part-time job or you're looking for an internship. Um, this is a, a great tool uh, to actually that's available all the time. Now, today I can tell you there's about 1,400 jobs posted on Work and Ames. What I can't tell you is where our employers are at in terms of hiring those opportunities. Those are still openings, but they may or may not be hiring them right now, or they might be delaying those. Um, if you see something that's there, you should still apply if it's of interest to you. I just can't guarantee that they are following as aggressive of a hiring schedule as that they might normally, normally be doing. If you want a job right now, Go back to the flyer because that's where we're we're housing those opportunities. But let's do a search, Andrea. Let's say you want to work for Hawk, a longtime company here in Ames that uh, builds water quality equipment. And uh, so you could do a search by just the company name, and then what you'd find in your search is actually all of the opportunities they have posted. Now you may notice that they uh, we're seeing Indeed behind those. We do scrape job opportunities for from Indeed. We know that's a very popular job board. 
Um, but our system allows uh, job seekers to actually see by company or by type of job uh, in a much more uh, laser focused search uh, than maybe you would otherwise do on Indeed. So you can see there's some nice opportunities at Hawk. What I would tell you is that if you go to Hawk on the immediate opportunities, uh, they've identified which of those they are hiring right now. And so um, you kind of, again, need to almost be looking at both places. Let's say you're looking for a CNA. You don't care what company you work for, but you want to work um, as a certified nursing assistant. So I would tell you there's always lots of CNA opportunities. And you can see that in a 30 mile radius of Ames, uh, there are a lot of different CNA opportunities, a lot of different types of opportunities, highlighting of shifts, all different types of companies, assisted living, uh, retirement communities, our hospitals. Um, again, this gives you some sort of sense uh, of what we have available. And again, if you wanna do a search by a type of job, if you wanna be a nurse, or you wanna work in manufacturing, or you wanna be a computer programmer, again, you can search on work in Eames uh, in a way that it would allow you to search regardless of what the company is. Um, so we, again, it's an award-winning uh, job site. Uh, we're excited about the accolades that it has received. We feel like it's pretty easy to use. Um, one of the components we wanna highlight today, uh, it isn't used as much as we would like it to be used, but it's uh, really taking your job search to a different level. So uh, one of the things that the work in Ames has the ability to do is actually um, to have job seekers create a profile and then those profiles are actually matched with current jobs on the site as well as, um, as, as positions are posted to the site. It will not match to the Indeed opportunities, but if it's a direct posted position to work in Ames, it will actually uh, show you those opportunities as well as to alert the employer so if we have businesses listing, this is an important tool as a business to be using because it gives you a, a steady flow of applicants right after you post a job. And so uh, it's real easy to create an account. Um, job seekers, we do not approve. We welcome anybody to be a job seeker on our site. Employers, because it is a Story County Job Board, we do make sure uh, before we approve employers that they are uh, posting opportunities that would be in one of our Story County communities. So again, take the time. Um, most everybody has a resume. It's actually pretty easy to create a profile, but the more information you put on the profile, the more job opportunities that you'll be alerted to. So uh, again, we'd encourage you to be using that. Um, it's, it's free to be set up as a, a job seeker. There is no cost to you to create an account. Um, it's a free job board and uh, please help us get the word out. And so uh, it's important now um, as people are looking for work, but it's going to be even more important as we start to come out of, uh, out of the crisis. Uh, we'll see our employers get more aggressive in hiring. It'll be real important that you've taken the time now to create that profile and get accustomed to, to what we do uh, here on Work and Eames. The other thing that we do on Work in Ames is we have great sponsors uh, here at the Chamber that actually work with us uh, in terms of our workforce efforts. And so uh, when we, we feature them uh, on Work in Ames, and uh, again, you see Hawk is listed there. Um, you can go directly to any one of these companies by um, clicking, let's, let's click on Mary Greeley, uh, Andrea. So then you could go right to Mary Greeley, um, right from uh, our site, and it'll go right to their job page, and uh, you can search their current openings right at Mary Greeley. And again, that's one of the, the special benefits that we have available to the folks that are working partnership with us on our workforce, uh, workforce efforts. So we have a great, a great companies that are, are uh, work with us as partners, and they're very diverse. So we have construction, we have information technologies, we have manufacturing, we have utilities, food production, 
uh, again, uh, a great easy way to actually access um, some of our larger employers. Uh, and again, we would highlight their support of making sure that tools like this are available at no, no charge uh, to people looking for a job here in Ames or Story County or for companies that want to find people to fill their opportunities. So we've got a couple videos here that we highlight. Uh, and uh, again, about quality of life, uh, we are blessed with a lot of accolades in our communities across Story County, and so uh, we highlight those here as well. We have a relocation video, but um, again, it's uh, we're really proud of the tool and again, encourage you uh, to be using that uh, as you move through your job search and the, and the time that we're in right now. So um, let's go back out of that. So again, we're here to help. Uh, we know uh, this is challenging, um, a challenging time. Uh, we do have job opportunities. Uh, we're here to help if you have some basic unemployment questions. Uh, we wish everyone the best. Uh, uh, someday we'll be through with this and, and, uh, and we'll um, have lots to be able to talk about uh, as we move forward. Thank you, Brenda. So um, what a great recap of all the resources we have available for our employees and job seekers. Uh, we encourage you to follow us on social media if you're not already. Uh, we have Ames Chamber. We also have WorkInAmes.com um, on our different social media uh, channels as well. So we uh, put lots of great information up there and you can also then follow us and get notified um, as soon as we do new um, new videos like this or any other any other helpful posts or events that are related. So we encourage you to um, jump online and follow us on our different social media platforms uh, to stay connected. Uh, so thank you again for joining us and for all your support for our businesses in, in Story County during this time. Uh, please let us know if we can be of assistance at the Ames Chamber of Commerce. Uh, give us a call at 515-232-2310 or visit us online at ameschamber.com. Thank you.